Hi everyone, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio. In this episode, we will learn how to add sound to your game and some basics about audio in Unity. So, there are two main terms you need to understand audio listener and audio source. Audio source is component that contains audio clip you want to play and other settings like volume, pitch and so on. You will see. Audio listener acts like microphone. It receives input from audio source and plays given sounds through your speakers. You can have only one listener in the scene and by default it's placed on the main camera. For the most cases you want it to be on the main camera or on the player, because in 3D games you will hear difference between audio sources that are closer and sources that are further away from the listener. In 2D games it doesn't matter, distance is not important, just volume. Let's see first example. Create new game object for background music. Reset transform and add audio source. Here is a reference to clip we want to play. Here are some settings like volume. We can choose to loop our clip and by default play on awake is selected. That means that sound will play when the scene starts. Here are some clips, let's add one and try it. As you can hear, music is playing. If you don't want to play it automatically on the start, uncheck play on awake. Next, we want to add sound every time player shoots. This is a bullet prefab. So add audio source to bullet, choose some cool clip like this, laser, leave play on awake checked, use clip, don't forget to apply changes and delete this bullet instance, click play and we have shooting sound. Maybe just turn down volume. Great. Next, let's try to control source with script. Here I have sprite that can be used as power up or checkpoint area. It has circle collider 2D and its trigger. Add audio source. Add clip power up and uncheck play on awake, maybe change volume. Next add power up script. Open it in Visual Studio. First we need reference to audio source. Next we will use on trigger enter 2D function. If collider other enters trigger and has tag player, we want to play clip. Make sure that player has that tag. So we type source that play. Save and go back to Unity. Let's make camera child object to follow player. Don't do that in your game, this is just for example. Destroy this bad red square and power up sound is here. Also, you can use multiple clips for one source, although not in the same time. Create public audio clip array clip. Next, we need a random number between 0 and 1. Set source clip to random clip from array. 
In Unity, size of array is 2 and let's use power up and laser clips. Now source will randomly play one of them. So this is a very easy and beginner friendly sound setup and examples. It will work just fine for your few first games, but notice there is a way to optimize all of this, creating sound manager and so on, but for the start it's great. Thank you for your time and see you soon.